I was at the gym. Oh, hang on. Holy cow, that's unprofessional. Didn't plug directly into the internet. Let's see if that did that hook up. There we go. I apologize for being unpro. Look, I'm not even zoomed in right. Gee whiz. Holy cow. That's what happens if we try to do it on the fly. So I had an observation at the gym because there's not much to do except lift heavy things and put them back down at the gym. And I was listening to Joker, and he had some gal video that he was doing. He's just like, okay, I, I don't want to work anymore. I want to throw on the towel, and, and can some guy come marry me? Like, literally, and, and especially nowadays with the internet, you don't know if they're if they're be if it's just a shtick to get traffic. Um, but I think there's an element of truth to it. Uh, not only because I see all these girls posting their L's online crying on TikTok, which I don't know why, but this is, I've had this with female friends who I like and trust and respect. They're like, well, all I really wanted was to be a stay at home wife. All I wanted, and these, this is going back 10 years ago to 15 years ago. Like, well, I really just wanted to be, stay at home wife, you know, I had to go to work and I don't know what else I was going to do. And, you know, what lurks deep in the heart of women, even women don't know. But it would seem to me, I wouldn't be too out of the ballpark to assume, <clears throat> well, universally at some level, sure, most women wouldn't mind being taken care of. I'm sure if the right gal with enough money came along and said, hey, you don't have to do that asshole consulting thing anymore. I'm like, tell me more. I guess everyone has a price, but beyond that prostitutional view of like, yeah, you could buy me out. I'll, I'll be the sugar boy or the pool boy or the gigolo, or whatever the male equivalent is. I think on a genetic level, most gals would in some capacity or regard. Yeah. I, I wouldn't mind being the stay at home. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And perhaps more for some women, more than they would like to lead on. <clears throat> and when I, you know, it was just an observation I had, I didn't pull everybody, but I don't recall any women say, oh no, not me. Oh no, you're in the minority. It, there was, there seemed to be this kind of like, oh, you would have liked that, huh? Well, it didn't dawn on me till now, and I don't know why. Usually I'm smarter than this, but the, uh, one good question to always ask of society is like, was that even possible now? Is that even feasible? And what I mean by that is, well, you, oh, I'd like to, I like to just settle down, you know, oh, all I ever, you know, after they've been doing the corporate thing, after they got their job, after, after, after their, their, you know, youth is all going, I just want, you know, sometimes crying, I just want to be a stay at home mom and be taking care of and make the babies. I just want to make the food. It's like, well, yeah, it's when plan A failed spectacularly in your face. It's too late for that now. But here's another thing. Are there even enough men to go around to support you girls? Those that would like to begin. Here's my, here's my theory. Here's my thesis. The, the majority of you, not a huge majority, but I think, well, a majority will at least rue. Maybe it wasn't your primary. Maybe you won't regret, but I guess rue is the word for regret. On some level, you will rue and say, man, all I really wanted was to be a stay-at-home. I just wanted to be taken care of and raise little jets. all I really wanted. <clears throat> and I'm saying, okay, well, maybe you should be honest about that up front. Maybe you don't. You know, 170 million women in this country. Everyone's going to have a different opinion, different goals. But for those of you who really want to, even if you were to have the intellectual strength, the courage, and temerity to tell the hive to F off, like, no, actually, I do want to be a stay-at-home mom. And I want to take care of children. I want to serve my man, which would, you know, they'll kill you in a back alley. Don't worry. They're coming for you. <clears throat> Even if you were, because the unified story, the unified front, according to Women Incorporated or The Hive, whatever you told men, it's on me. There's not enough good men to go around to even support those of you girls who wanted to be supported and have a traditional uh, uh, family. And I didn't pull a ton of data. This is just, I'm, I'm done pulling the specific data. I don't care. Because I used to do that. Say, well, I don't believe your sources are, well, what about this? What about, I, I, I'm done. No, I'm done. And I'm, I'm old enough. What was it? Um, I've forgotten more than you can remember. Uh, was that the Avengers with Sean Connery? I've forgotten more economic dam uh, data than you can remember. And I, all I know, on every age group, for every age of man, 
labor force participation rates have been going down. They're the lowest they've been for all different types of categories of men, except for the um, <clears throat> the disease, which was a, obviously a, a outlier blip. Uh, men are working less hours than they ever have before. I know that American men. And <clears throat> as it also goes for younger or marrying age men. And then you have that, what, the army of 7 million people. You just, it's all a Scooby-Doo mystery. Like, why aren't those boys working? I don't get it. And even if you, those who are, well, hang on. <clears throat> Let me pull up the data, what little I did look up. All right. So if you wanted a man to support you, let's go down to some brass tech numbers. All right. Just average American man. You want a man. To provide you that traditional lifestyle, it is going to take $100,000 minimum average town. Not San Francisco, not New York, not where all you girls love and the Democrats poop in the street all the time. Because you just know utopia so well. <clears throat> but if you want it, like, that's kind of like, yeah. Guy's going to have to make 100000 for the average family to be supported. You could do it on a fraction of that, but I know no one's interested in that because everyone needs to have a brand new Range Rover. But let's just say I'm thinking, sitting there thinking to live in relative comfort, to pay off your student loan debts for the joke of a degree that you got, for that those guys to pay off the joke of the degree they got. <clears throat> you want to have two or three kids on one income today in the United States, cost of cars and everything else, just go to ballpark it at 100000 Right? Only 23% of the men of all ages make that. All ages. So you're going to have to date older. Now, that ain't going to be much of a help either because where the data go? <clears throat> 2020. <sighs> Prime income earning years. 45 to 54. Average man makes $66,000. All right. So it's not like, oh, I could just date older. Still, no, the majority of men, no matter what age range you pick, um, they break. What, 16 to 19, they make 27,000. 20 to 24, they make 34,000. You girls aren't even blink. You're not going to fart in that guy's direction. 24 to 34, $50,000. That's possible. You could do it, but you girls are absolutely not interested in that. <clears throat> 35 to 44, 64,000. 45 to 54, peaking out at 62. 55 to 64, 63. And then 65 and older, obviously retired, 53,700. The vast majority of men are not going to be able to support a family. you They're not there. They're not in the numbers. And as I said before, overall, they didn't break it down by age group, but it's typically going to be men 50 plus are going to be the majority of guys making $100,000 a year or higher. The 23% of men who make that amount of money are higher. So one in four, but you're going to have to go older. <clears throat> now, there was that. Oh, then the other variable, right? <laughs> It's, I have to find the, hang on, maybe I can find it. Let's, wow, we're looking up statistics. Married men earn more. Married men earn more. They earn, think big, what is it? Married men are earning more. Uh, I saw the data. I had the data. And married men make a significant, oh, here it is. Here's the chart I was looking for. All right, so married men, depending on your age, in the, why did they black out the age? Why did they do that? Why did you do that? <clears throat> uh, so your average single guy looks like he peaks out at around $50,000 while the average married guy makes, he peaks out and averages, you know, I wish they put age. It looks like it's got to be about 40. So once a guy hits 40, if he's single, they make about $45,000, $50,000 and it tapers off a little bit as they die. The married men, they make about 80, even up to almost eh, 85,000. They start at, at the high 70s, they get up to the mid 80s, and they taper off to the low 70s when they're that. So, okay, 23% of American men make $100,000 or 23% of American men can afford to give you the stay at home lifestyle, traditional wife with the kids that you cry yourself to sleep in, in theory, or at least on a part or capacity. <laughs> but the majority of those guys are married, which, which, 
well, maybe I'll be a mistress, which, okay, fine, but you ain't going to be the stay at home. You're not getting them wife. They're, those guys are married off. Now, I don't have to break down what percent of the 23% of men that make $100,000 or more are married or otherwise spoken for because you got to factor that in too. Because men are like, no, I ain't getting married. <clears throat> we could be committed, but we ain't doing that marriage thing. But the majority of those guys are off the market in the fact that, that these are the married men. And Lord knows whatever guys make $100,000, like, yeah, no, yeah, no. And so given the lower labor force participation rates, oh, I, I'm aware, I'm with you, sisters. I'm aware just how crappy the selection of men is, especially for you younger girls, right? <clears throat> I'm aware. But I think you also need to be aware of this harsh economic reality because I'm getting the sense it could be wrong that at some level, <clears throat> some more than others, and some intellectually actually honest women, not at all. I'm going to guess the majority, on some level, some more than others, you're kind of hoping or maybe even expecting that there's going to be a guy to come save you. That you're going to play this, uh, <clears throat> this, oh, I'm the executive HR director of diversity and inclusion. I'm going to get my journalism degree. I'm a strong independent. And essentially, you know that at some level, at some level, you're LARPing. Like, you know, geez, I kind of keep asking dad for money. I need a student loan bailout. <clears throat> and I do know this. Every girl thinks their prince is just around the corner. I do know that. I've talked to many girls who are incredibly intelligent. I said, but they're not around the corner. No, no, no. No, no, no. It was like I said, God doesn't exist to a Christian. It, it was like blasphemy what I just said. <clears throat> um, but if you have that expectation, I, I, I implore you. Why is YouTube doing this? Why? Why? No, I didn't ask for that. If you have this expectation, no matter how unconscious uh, or subconscious <clears throat> or perhaps very conscious, you got to understand this is a really harsh game of musical chairs because all at, at the absolute, it's not even the absolute best, at the absolute best, one in eight men make 100, can afford to give you a traditional lifestyle. One in eight, all right? It's probably a lot less. And the reason I got one in eight is you take, you know, 23% of men can afford it. I'm going to estimate at least half those guys are married. So now you're one in eight. But it's got to be a fraction of even that. How many men want to? Right? How many men uh, just now nah, we're going to cohabitate? How many men don't want to have children? How many men don't like, no, no, you're strong, independent. You got to do this. And then. I know you, the, I'll, some lady, I'll pay $50 to a girl who could write a good explanatory email. It doesn't have to be long. I will pay you $50 to whoever, whoever gives me the best explanation. You all want a rich guy, but then you all vote Democrat or Socialist or Labor Party or whatever it is, wherever you are in the country of whichever country you're in, to take their money away. You, you do know. Okay. <clears throat> no, you don't know. Because nobody knows. All right. In the United States, right, we spend, or I'm sorry, we don't spend. The government takes roughly a third of all of our money. It's actually 38%. I have to look up the numbers. Right? So everyone on average, on average, rich or poor, fat or skinny, doesn't matter. On average, between sales tax and gas tax and this tax and that tax and income and capital gain, all those taxes, it adds up to a little over a third of all of our incomes. Now, naturally, rich people, even though you want a rich man, are evil, and they must be punished no matter how hard they work to earn that money. And so you girls just can't get enough of socialist politics to take wealthy people's money, ladies included, by the way. A lot of you girls tax yourself to death. I don't know why. So we have a progressive income tax. So if the whole idea is for you to be, I hate the word taken care of because it's not like you're not going to be doing work, taking care of a family or a house or anything like that. But if you want to be, uh, is it kept? And, and even that has a negative connotation. If you want the traditional lifestyle, be a stay-at-home mom, one income family, husband goes and works, you take care of the kids and the house and all that. Well, it's the money the guy brings home that's going to support your family. Don't you get that? 
Wait, I know your teachers told you a lot of lies. I know your professors told you lies on top of the lies. But do you understand the logic that in order to support a family, a certain amount of after-tax income has to be made? <clears throat> and one thing you could do to dramatically increase the percent chance of finding men that are capable of supporting you, and if you want a traditional family, is to lower the bleeping taxes so they're not bordering a socialist economic system. And by the way, I don't want to see in the, all you spurgs, all you, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, actually, I don't want to hear it about like, that's not technically socialism. Shut up. Almost 40% of the income is taken by the government. Do you think you could increase the supply of men that could be able to afford taking care of a single, a single income home if you lowered the taxes? Now, <clears throat> Here's where the old cynical pessimist Cappy comes in. I know a certain percent, what percent that is, I don't know. But there's a certain amount of women who will never admit the truth that deep down inside, they want the stay-at-home wife, mom thing, June Ward Cleaver. <clears throat> and that could be what you really want. You could want it more than the career and the education. But you dare don't go against the high because of the social, friendship, professional, career, political ramifications that would come from the hive. <clears throat> because you are so wedded to that, because that's more important to you, or you fear it more than you desire, stay at home wife, ward, June Cleaver, Christmas time, whatever, kids, pitter patter, little feet. It's moot and academic what you girls really want deep down inside. So few of you <clears throat> are going to change your behaviors. So few of you would, I, I don't even mean to go this far, but so few of you would say, well, we better create an environment where men can make enough money and support families, which you mean lowering taxes. You're not going to do that. <clears throat> so this is moot and academic because deep down what you want inside will never come. It will never bubble up to reality. It will never make it into policy. And so you, by the way, instead, you've given a very clear signal and unified front to men that you don't need them. And men have not invested in becoming men capable of supporting families. So there is going to be a shortage of these men who are capable of doing it. But worse, because you will never come forth and be honest, say, nope, I'm going to take agency. I'm going to take action. I do want to be a stay at home mom. F get, the, get some real courage like uh, Ali uh, over at Real Femme Sapien. Be be a true, strong, independent woman like, no, this is what I want, and I'm going to get it. <clears throat> because you're not going to do that, oh, man. lost my train of thought. Oh, came back to me. Because you're not going to do that, and because you're not going to change the policy, right? and we're going to continue to have tax rates of 38%, there's not enough guys to support you even if you would, so you have to support yourself now there there is no going back this strong independent woman thing that you've claimed and insisted and demanded which i'm okay with yeah sure be strong and independent absolutely well that's a policy that's been in the west for gosh 50 years now and now the generation of men have made their decisions like well they don't need us wow if you get the impression that you don't want them and so they're not working hard like Ward Cleaver. So even if you said, okay, I'll be honest. I'll be intellectually honest. I want the, the stay-at-home wife life. I want that. There's not enough men to go around. And so this kind of dooms all of you. Not all. I'll get to the technicalities later. But it dooms most of you. You have to be independent. There's now you could argue, okay, the government helps out with aid and assistance and all that other stuff, right? I'm sure there is a welfare state. I'm aware of that. But if you were hoping, if you're like, oh, maybe I no, it's not there because the men aren't there in enough numbers and they don't make enough money because they're paying too much in taxes. And so if that was a little deep down inside, well, maybe that's not an option. You are going to have to support yourself. <laughs> There's there's no shining knight or knight in shining armor. There's no prince around the corner. You're, you're Ryan Gosling or um, what's the Canadian actor, Mint Mobile guy? Ryan Reynolds, they're not there. 
not in the numbers at all, at all. And because you have, look, to grow a man takes three decades, minimum, let alone a man who works hard enough to support a family and is responsible enough for that, which let's admit with the socialist leftist Democrat party, individual responsibility, pay your student loans back, major in the right thing. That was thrown out of the window a long time ago. There are not the numbers of men who make enough money, who aren't married, who want to be there for you. And now what back then it might've been something fun. And well, we don't need no man. Technically you don't. Well, now you could say you don't need no man. Well, there are no man that you could have if you needed them in the theoretical, like, let's say you needed a man. There is no one coming to save you. No one. Now <clears throat> there's 170 million American men. 35 million of which are within the marrying age range out of 35 million men. Are there good men who are able to support a family on one and papara meets all your standards? Yes, but they are very, very few, very few. And they are certainly not enough to go around that if deep down inside you desperately wanted, but you didn't want to speak out against the hive, uh, you know, okay. You know, after, after your, 25 years sorority anniversary, you, you decide you'd settle down. That will not be an option for the majority of you. Now, I know people are tempted by the lottery. Well, if I, I know sociology doesn't pay well, but if I major in it, maybe I'll become the next Ocasio-Cortez. <clears throat> well, I know, I know that there's like very few men, but I'm going to, I'm going to ask like a, like a boss babe up until about 35. And then I'm going to find my George Clooney. It ran a, article today about um hillary swank i'm surprised i remember the name she had two kids at 48 that's a lottery that's a lottery that that that, that statistically isn't likely to happen you will hold on to it you will hold on you're gonna want to have your cake and eat it too but i'm trying to warn the younger gals those of you who still have your youth and beauty those who still have time right Align your expectations with reality. The chance of meeting your guy is likely not going to, it's very low. Plan on being independent. <clears throat> Don't LARP as a liberal arts major or a poli sci major or a journalism major. You cannot afford it. Right. And your life is going to be a lot better if you're, say, an accounting major, or a nursing major, or an engineering major, or something like that. Where you're not begging for the government to to bail you out and save you, uh, then it would be, then it would be if you chose stupid financial decisions such as majoring in dumb things, buying clothes you can't afford, not saving up money into a retirement fund, not saving money into a down payment for a house. And I just realized, like, <clears throat> wait, like right now it's almost like okay, ladies, it's you and your career and your education, good, which you should be able to be self. And independent and maybe there's the welfare state but there's not a third level of insurance like after you and the government there's not enough men to help you not enough men. they can barely help themselves i mean your number one complaint is they live at home right they're gone effectively gone you will not win the lottery so you i be i beseech you behoove you request of you beg of you plead of you please choose the right thing to study Please make sure you can support yourself. All right. I know it was funny or edgy and rah rah women's power. Like, we don't need no man. All right. That's cute. But that's been said for so long now by women who are now grandmothers to the generations that have come forth. Men have taken that to heart. And they did not rise to the occasion because, well, ain't nobody need Ward Cleaver. Why would I work hard? A lot of it is mental. Like these guys might make a lot of money, but mentally, like, why? What? No, I'm not getting married. They said they didn't need us. So make your life a lot easier. It is a harsh reality. You will have to be independent. Absolutely. Because there's there aren't any guys to take care of you anymore. So there you go. All right. Link below. Jeez, how do I how do I take care of myself? Take care of myself financially, Cappy. How do I? <clears throat> be an independent person. How is it that I don't need any man or woman? How is it that I don't need a person? 
period, to support me. Well, link below is a link to my course, Achieving Financial Excellence. It's not for men or women. It's for both. You can take it. Also, link below is a, a link to Bachelor Pad Economics, which I know it says bachelor in it, but it's bachelorette as well because the laws of finance and investing don't change. But you know, aside from the financial ways to treat this and achieve financial independence, I would also ask women one other thing. Men as well, though, but I always ask you of this. Ladies, align your expectations with reality here, with the environment that has been created. Right? Align your expectations with the reality of the supply of men that are out there. <clears throat> and your life is going to be a lot easier. Like, chances are you're not going to find the guy. Just you're not going to find the, oh, wait, no, link below is maybe the menu life without the opposite sex. I don't know. In either case, chances are you're not going to be the stay-at-home wife. You're not going to find the guy. You're just not. Half of you are forecasted not to get married and divorce rates haven't slowed down. Half of you are going to get divorced. There's so 75% chance you're going to be alone. It's a lot easier to be alone making $125,000 as a CPA than being alone at 58 years old with student loan debts that accrued because you majored in journalism or communications, making your $17 an hour doing whatever job you could have done in high school. All right, just some guy for one buck. Thank you very much. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't realize that. It's like, oh, yeah, the men are out. They're gone. At one time, they were there. I think baby baby boomers and Xers are kind of like, yeah, I'll support the family. That, that's gone. Zoomers and millennials, absolutely not. Where's the vision productions? Five bucks. Women don't want traditionalism. I agree. I, I, I see the polling numbers. I agree. I'm, I'm lit You guys think this is tongue in cheek. It's not. It, women are being conditioned or maybe they are naturally this way. They don't want to be dependent upon men. I got it. But I keep hearing there's like little cracks. I'm like, okay, but. For those of you who are thinking about this or deep down inside want a traditional, you know, talk to Ali, talk to real femme sapien. Uh, but for, for those of you like, oh, well, maybe I will find. No, no, they're not there. They're not there. Um, <clears throat> they want a backup plan, 100% economic monkey branching. History's greatest sheet test has backfired spectacularly. Well, they they're not. <laughs> There's just not the numbers. You know, you, you look at, I, I watch a lot of documentaries on Ukraine and Russia. There's not, the, the numbers aren't there for the Ukrainian population to uh, uh, get an army to counteract the huge population that Russia has, although they're doing a, a tremendous job of it. But there just isn't the numbers. You know, there's, it. They'll never line up at the store because the hive would find out that they they line up at the husband's store. But I would estimate demand for the tradition. It's like, okay, we got five ward cleavers in stock at the husband's store. And deep down inside, if you were to pull it, about 100 women want the ward cleaver. They'll never admit it, but 100 women want it. It's, it's about 1 to 20, I'd estimate. It's a ballpark, just a gut feeling. But for those, like, let's take all the girls who want Deep down inside a traditional single family home. They want to be stay at home. I think only one in and one in 20 of you are going to get it. <clears throat> if the younger you go, the younger you go. All right. Do, 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 do. Dung is fun. Two bucks campy. Did you just come from a gun show? Yeah, the guns of Navarone. Look at that. Huh? I, look at that. Oh man. Cappy got a little bit of guns. Yeah, I came from uh from Dot Jim. Oh, my favorite person who insults me all the time. Five bucks. We do exist out there. Want a wife and kids, but we aren't young and dumb anymore. You have to make it very worth it for us to give up what we got. Yeah, and that's that's another thing. Uh, the the guys, there are guys, Cynic being one of them, who does, they do want family. They do. But as they get older, that's another thing. As they get older, look, this internet is exposing and belying a lot of things. It's even maybe mispropagandizing. A lot of you gals might say, well, you know, you watch these girls crying on the internet. You think every girl's on antidepressants and, and doing drugs and drinking Drano or something. <clears throat> but to the average 18-year-old boy, he's looking at all this drama on the internet. He's like, I'm on. I'm done. I don't want nothing to do with it. He said, but that's not real women. Too bad. That's what they're seeing. 
I mean, are any of you girls wear in my day, in my day, girls wore dresses and skirts occasionally. Not all the time, but they'd wear it. They look cute. I do girls even wear it? Do girls look feminine? <clears throat> I go past the high school occasionally. I look, I'm like, I, these kids all look like they're in Seattle in 1994. They all look like they're pre depressed and sad. Nonstop trade, two bucks. But Cappy, they say real men sacrifice themselves. But you're, you're, not, you're, you're missing me. <clears throat> there are no real men. That's my point. There are no real men. I understand girls want a guy who makes a lot of money is okay because that's genetic and that's what they want. And who wouldn't want someone who makes more money as opposed to less? I'm saying there's not enough men to go. Like it's going to be very similar to, well, I want UBI and free food and free rent. And like, for whatever nightmarish reason we were to actually give it to them, these would be the same girls. Like where's all the food in the shelves? Not knowing that it is profit that incentivizes Everyone in the food supply chain, including the farmers, to raise and create the damn food in the first place. They they have literally said they didn't need real men. They have punished, excoriated, mocked, ridiculed, expunged masculinity. They literally tax. They vote to take away. They would take away more money from them. What's the higher time? California? My God. <clears throat> they literally vote to take away your money so you couldn't be rich, and now you got to work an extra 30, 40, 50 percent to be rich enough to support a family. And then, then at, I, at some level, I'm not sure what, some of them like, I just want to be a, a wife with kids. <laughs> well, here we got Tanner, the crying millennial. I mean, that's not that millennial, that's a Zoomer, who's really good at video games. And uh, he's on three different types of drugs, legal drugs, not 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 narcotics, you know, antidepressants, anti-anxiety and <clears throat> anti-testosterone. Here, he's he, he agrees. That he's exactly what you know, look. He's like a plant. He exists. Oh, God, no, he's a pacifist just like you. He doesn't commit violence. But let me tell you, he's a punching bag in school. Scrolling. Sick and Chief, two bucks. In Cappy's day, they had corsets and hoop skirts. Uh, <clears throat> they didn't have corsets. Uh, some would wear corsets, but I was a little bit old. Hoop skirts is, that's way back in the day. Did I get them all? I want to make sure I got them all. Oh, we got one. Hang on, hang on. Getting down here. Where's the vision productions? Five bucks. The only girls I see wearing skirts these days are on the biggest, beautiful side of weight scale. Laughing all out. Job of the hut. Eat your heart out. Yeah. I, <clears throat> I, I take the GF out. She wears dresses. Why? Cause I'm going to die and I'm sick and tired. She never would really wear jeans. I mean, but when we go out, like, no, put on a dress. I'm dating a woman, not a dude. And it's so sad. We're, oh my God, you're so beautiful. All the girls, the guys look, the guys don't say she's beautiful because that would, you know, in their minds, land them in jail. But all the girls, are like, blah, 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 blah. it's like, you could wear that too. That it, that it. All right. Link below achieving financial excellence, both available to boys and girls and girls. You're going to have to get what? Oh, and then for the guys, one final thing, just watch guys. They're going to have to. They uh, girls are not going to be able to afford to LARP as adults, like majoring in dumb crap. That's coming to an end. Maybe not quickly, but it is coming. They cannot afford to go to school for these laughably stupid degrees, get these laughably stupid jobs and laugh laughably stupid professions, HR, diversity and inclusion, uh, early childhood. They're just, it's not, it's not going to work. <clears throat> and they will not, if for any other reason, they won't be able to save up the money to pay for retirement. And ladies, I know I sound like I'm a dick, and I am. It's called asshole consulting, not nice guy consulting. But look where nice guys have gotten you. You girls are going to have to be independent. You can no longer LARP or just make that a make that a chant. You actually have to live it because the economy and society and the other sex has evolved to adapt for that fact. All right, there you guys go. See you guys later. Toodles.